Despite deadline day coming and going, a handful of people still remain at the Mulberry Street homeless encampment. Thanks for being here with us at six. I'm Joel D. Smith. I'm Jasmine Brooks. So clean up work that's going to begin first thing tomorrow morning. OK, CBS 21's Michael Gorsinger been following this live along Cameron Street now with the timetable of cleaning up and what's next for these folks still refusing to leave. Michael. Joel D, right now only a handful of people, five in all, still living in this encampment underneath the Mulberry Street Bridge. That number far fewer than the 70 to 80 that were living here in this spot uh, less than two weeks ago when the process to close it began. However, advocates still working round the clock to try and give these people other options as work begins. In just hours, the Mulberry Street Bridge homeless encampment getting a much needed clean, but five holdouts slowing down the process. For a month and a half, Felix Diaz calling 10 city home after getting out of prison, living options relatively limited. I don't got no family here. I don't got nobody here. Nobody. It's not about us pushing people out or relocating. We are actively working with individuals to find the resource that works best for them. So far, 70 to 80 people taking those resources from alternate living arrangements to rehab to reunification with family, dozens finding another place to live. And these are neighbors. These are unsheltered neighbors for whoever, whatever reason are like that. Crews preparing the site for a thorough cleansing. Starting tomorrow, Public Works taking two days with heavy equipment to clear out the garbage. Then exterminators will set traps and spray to get rid of the rat infestation. And we're going to go with full force to clean up the entire area with every piece of equipment that we have. Where we were a week ago compared to where we are now, I think is a big step in the right direction. But still questions remain about the holdouts. City leaders emphasizing no arrests will be made for non-compliance. However, the site will be a danger once the exterminating begins. They're adults. They can make their own decisions and choices. But we're just there to help support their decision. We're not going to turn a blind eye to this anymore. We're addressing this head on. Now, cleanup is slated to begin tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Should take about six weeks when you factor in the extermination process. Interestingly enough, because of land ownership and Harrisburg law, there is a possibility that residents could actually make their way back to this site once it is cleaned up over the next few weeks. However, people deciding not to go down to a new encampment that was set up about a mile away, meaning this may be the only option that's available to them when it's finally cleaned. Live in Harrisburg, Michael Gore Center, CBS 21 News. And we've been following this story from the very beginning to learn more about the encampment under the Mulberry Street Bridge and how we've gotten to this point. Go to CBS21.com and search Mulberry Street Bridge.